As you hopefully enjoy this compilation of Unreal Odds, we're gonna skip ahead onto the third clip and explain a few things regarding boat safety. There's nothing quite like spending the day on your boat with family and friends. Just be sure safety is foremost in your mind. Be prepared with a boat safety kit. You can't always predict an emergency, so be prepared for any situation. Your boat safety kit should be kept on board no matter the size of your boat. Below are some essential items your safety kit should include. Flashlight, duct tape, bucket, first aid kit, ropes etc. Bring the proper life jackets. Life jackets do more than simply keep you afloat. Many are designed to turn an unconscious person face up and even help prevent hypothermia. By law, all boats must have a U.S. Coast Guard approved life jacket for each person on board. Some states also require children to wear life jackets at all times. Check the weather beforehand. Warm, sunny days are ideal for boating, but you can't always predict when a storm will roll in. Varying gusts of wind and choppy water are signs of an approaching storm. And even if it's a warm spring day, the water could instead reflect winter temperatures. In the event that your boat capsizes or you and your passengers get wet, make sure you have a plan to seek help and get dry. Check for harmful fumes. After refueling your boat, open all the hatches and smell for fumes. If detected, don't start the engine. Carbon monoxide can accumulate in and around your boat and unexpectedly knock you or your guests unconscious. Use common sense on the water. Rules on the water aren't much different than rules on the road. It's important to use common sense, such as staying alert at all times, operating at a safe speed and ensuring that passengers stay safely within the boat's railings. Follow proper anchoring procedures. Having the right anchor isn't enough. To keep the wind from dragging your boat, you may need to drop two anchors in a V-formation at the front of the craft to keep it from drifting. To help prevent the tide from lifting your anchor, you may need to drop it in deeper water about 20-30 feet or so. Follow proper docking procedures. Depending on the wind, the current and your type of boat, docking can be a challenge. As you approach the dock or shore, make sure your bumpers are out to prevent damage to your craft. Reduce your speed and make sure the docking lines are secure. If the wind is blowing towards the shore, Bring the boat about two feet from the dock and the wind will gently pull it in. You can then secure it with lines. If the wind is blowing away from the shore, 